Today is the day you begin a new project and you've got a new team. But how can you turn this cast of characters into a well-oiled machine? How can you determine how they'll approach their work and how can you identify their strengths and weaknesses? To answer these questions, Meredith Belbin developed a model to assess how individuals behave in a team. The model describes how each role comes with various strengths and weaknesses which can affect the productivity of a team. Belbin says that an effective team requires all nine roles to be fulfilled. However, this does not mean that a team always requires nine people. Most people fulfill two or three roles that can either be preferred, manageable, or least preferred, all of which should be taken into consideration when forming a team. Let's dive deeper into the model. Belbin's team roles can be grouped into three distinct orientations. They are action-oriented roles, thinking roles, and social-oriented roles. Action-oriented roles focus on team improvement, putting ideas into action, and completing tasks. Shapers, implementers, and completer finishers fit into this orientation. Shapers are dynamic individuals who enjoy questioning norms, invigorating others, and problem-solving. However, they may be easily provoked and abrasive when communicating with others. An implementer's strength is that they like to take their colleagues' ideas and put it into action. They are usually efficient, organized, reliable, and practical. However, they may be slightly inflexible and close-minded at times. A completer finisher likes to make sure that every detail in the project is just right. Their allowable weaknesses include being excessively worried and that they can be reluctant to delegate tasks. Thinking-oriented roles focus on providing technical expertise and analysis. Plants, monitor evaluators, and specialists fit into this orientation. The plant provides creative solutions and innovative ideas. However, they may have the tendency to ignore incidentals and have a lack of motivation to carry out their brilliant ideas. Monitor evaluators add to the team by being logical observers. They are great at judging options fairly and accurately. But at times, they can be uninspiring and overly critical. The specialist contributes by being especially knowledgeable in a particular area. A downside to that might be that they can only contribute on a narrow front and that they may dwell on technicalities. Social-oriented roles bring ideas and people together. Coordinators, team workers, and resource investigators fit into this orientation. The coordinator is an asset as they have the ability to clearly visualize goals. They make great leaders and are excellent with task delegation. However, they may be seen as manipulative and work shy because they may sometimes offload their share of the work. The team worker helps the team function smoothly as they are good at diffusing conflicts without confrontation. They are usually cooperative, attentive, perceptive, and diplomatic. However, they can sometimes be overly avoidant of confrontation and a little indecisive. Resource investigators contribute to the team by being explorative, outgoing, and enthusiastic. They like to explore opportunities and develop contacts. However, they can sometimes be overly optimistic and can lose interest in projects quickly. In summary, Belvin's model can help to better understand your team's dynamic and utilize every individual's strengths while managing their weaknesses. This can bring your team a step closer to realizing their full potential.